Hi guys, it's John from Rubble Custom Rods, and today we're going to learn a little bit about roller tip tops and how to install them. So as you can see, I have a few different varieties um, of the AFCO roller tops uh, that we're going to talk about. And the first one really is going to be um, the AFCO uh, Bigfoot Super Duty Roller Tip Top. And AFCO created this roller top to, to match their Bigfoot Super Duty um, or Heavy Duty and Wind On Roller Guides um, that they have, their, their line of roller guides. Um, and as you can see, it's, you know, the head is extra large and it, and it's extra tough. I mean, this, this is a heavy duty, um, tip top. Um, I like to use this tip top really on my Marlin rod builds, my really big game, uh, fishing rods. Um, so 60 unlimited, you know, 60 to 130 class rods. Um, that's what, uh, I'm, I'm putting this, this, uh, tip top on. Um, and it's also, uh, because it's large, um, you know, the, the, actual wheel on the inside and the hood um, on the top here of the tip top, you know, there's extra clearance in there for, for your knots, right? So you have a really a, a good size knot um, that can move through that with no problem. You're not concerned about, you know, your leader, your line and your leader getting choked up there at the top. Then there is something like this. And when we, you know, we kind of put these side by side here, you can really see, um, you know, you can really see the difference between these two, right? Um, this one is extremely large. Again, that was the first one that we just talked about, uh, the Bigfoot roller top. And then this one here is, you know, AFCO's um, standard roller tip tops, which come with two different size of head, right? So there's either, you can either get it in the small size head or the large size head, meaning the only difference in the large size head is that it's really built for uh for not clearance right and then the last roller top which is actually has a small size head on it is this one here on the left hand side so you can see the difference in the sizes they're they're really both um both of these tip tops are the afco standard roller tip top but this is built on a, a small um, head and this one has a large head on it, right? And so this one here is the AFCO standard roller tip top with ring uh, and they only come in a small head size. They do not come in a large head size like this one over here. So now you must be asking yourself, what is this large, you know, super ring for? Is that to put on your finger, right? What's the purpose of having a ring um, on that guide? Any ideas? Well, uh, the ring basically is for, I mean, it serves one purpose, right? And, and it's there, um, you know, it, it, if you look at this one here, you know, we've got, you know, the hood clearance for, or the hood, excuse me, for knot clearance. The ring is the same thing. You got great knot clearance. Your leader can come through there, right? But really the purpose of this ring um is for those that want to be able to cast live baits rigged to heavy leaders um and that are tied with large knots that's really the purpose behind uh behind this tip top and let me tell you um i have used a lot of these recently um in a lot of the rods that i've been building for uh red rum sport fishing out of cabo so um if i had to be picky um from a rod builder's perspective if i had to be picky about this tip top you can kind of see it a little bit when we when they have the rings on here sometimes um and you have to pay attention when you're installing this tip top on a rod sometimes and this one's off a little bit but sometimes these rings will be offset on top of the on top of the roller guide meaning it looks like it's leaning to the left a little bit or it's leaning to the right a little bit um, or this will have a shallow bend and this, this side will have a deeper bend and vice versa. Um, but you really have to pay attention to that. The reason why you have to pay attention to that before you put the guide on, it's, it's not going to affect the performance of the rod in any way. But it could, if you want to be picky, you could say, you know, it, it may affect, you know, the way it looks because it looks lopsided or it may look a little bit off, but that's okay. But the reason why you really need to pay attention to it is because when you're applying 
the epoxy to this roller tip top to go on your rod if this ring is canted either to the left or to the right when you're trying to line it up with your roller guides or your casting guides you know you may be lined up like you want it to be however the circle may look like it's off to the right a little bit or off to the left and you'll think that the tip top roller itself is canted when it in reality it's actually not it's actually straight on the rod so again you, you need to pay attention uh, you know before you install your tip top to make sure that this large ring is centered because most of the time they're off a little bit to the left or off a little bit to the right and you want to be able to account for that when you're aligning this tip top on your rod with your guides now <clears throat> So we've talked about the guides, right? So we have the, the standard roller um, with a ring, right? With a large ring. Again, this only comes with a small head. We have the standard AFCO standard roller tip top that comes in either a small head or a large head, right? And then of course you have the AFCO um, Bigfoot uh, roller tip tops, of course, that come in a large head. Now there's something else you need to understand about these, um, you know, Again, like this one here, this is a large and this is a small head. However, this is a size nine and this is a size 12. If I, I mean, so it, it is quite a bit larger, right? But if I had a size 12 and a small head, it's gonna be smaller, right? You can definitely tell it'll be more shaped like this. Won't have the big hood on top. Um, if I had a large head for a size nine, of course, it's going to be a little bit bigger there to make sure it's got good knot clearance. Okay. All right. And so when I'm adding these to my rod, there's a couple of ways to do it. Now, I know everybody is pretty familiar, um, you know, with a glue stick. You take your razor blade, right? We take our razor blade, we come in, we cut a piece of the glue stick off, um, and then we come back. We drop that down inside the tip top. Um, we slide it on the rod. You know, we warm it up with a lighter or your torch, and then we slide it down on top of the tip. Um, I do not do that for big game builds. Um, a lot of times what I will do um, for big game builds is I will come up with some, so there's a little bit of prep work, right? So the first thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll slide that tip top onto the rod blank and then I will take a piece of tape and I will mark right here. Like once that tip goes all the way down on top of the tip of the rod, I, I mark with a piece of tape where it stops at and then I slide it back off. And then that exposed piece of, um, of rod blank, then I'll come back over with some sandpaper with some P2020 3M. It's kind of clear, stick, you know, tacky on the backside, a little bit of grip. I will take this and I will come up and I will lightly sand down um, the surface of that tip top and then I will wipe it off. The second thing that I will do um, is I'll come back with a, a, a piece of shop towel like this or something. Let me just roll this up a little bit. Actually, let me go to this one. Just be a little bit easier for demonstration purpose. And then I'll just take this, stick it inside. The tip top and you can see that this is actually coming out a little bit dirty already go in there again you just spin it around and pull it out Again, you can see it's starting to come off dirty. And let's check this one here, this big one. Now you may be asking yourself, hey, why, why are you, you know, sticking a rag in there and, and wiping it out? Well, the reason, see, again, that's coming out a little bit dirty. I, I don't know if you guys can tell on the camera, it's coming out a little bit dirty. I, I'm telling you, I've stuck a rag um, down inside some of the tip tops before. Uh, and there will be a little bit of oil in there. So when they're manufactured, they'll have a little bit of oil in there. So you just want to make sure you dry it out if there's any of that in there. Of, co of course, clear out any other debris, any grease or anything like that. Get that dirt out. That's just going to help you make sure you have good adhesion um, 
with, with your uh, epoxy or your adhesive uh, when you apply it to the tip of the blank and then you slide the tip top down on top of it, right? And then, um, so again, we talked about the glue stick, um, but I don't use this for big game builds. Um, what I like to use is the Flex Coat 5 Minute Epoxy. Um, you know, it comes, you know, a black side and, and, uh, and a red side, basically your resin and your hardener. Um, this stuff, it dries in about five minutes, like it says, and, and it's not moving. So you do have to work quick with this. Um, but the great thing about this is, is when you sand down any bit of that tip top and you're taking some of that surface of the, excuse me, when you sand the, the tip of the rod blank and you take any bit of that surface of that rod blank off, um, I will apply you know, equal parts of this to a, a little piece of cardboard, mix it up, put it on the blank. And then I will also drop some down inside the tube um, of the of the roller tip top. Um, and then I will allow me to slide it on there, get it on, and you'll have good adhesion um, and, and basically a tip top that will not fail. Um, and because in, you're using up this using this five minute epoxy, um, any of that surface that you take off from sanding, this epoxy basically replaces some of that surface. So it's uh, it's a way to do it. It's not, you know, the way. Um, it's probably, you know, maybe someone will say it's not the best way, but it is um, a way that I do it. Uh, and, and I've been pretty successful so far um, in doing it that way. And then the last thing I really want to draw your attention to um, on the tip tops, and I've talked about this before, but anytime you work, um, with roller tip tops, they, they differ a little bit um, with just your regular tip tops. And so here, um, you know, this here is basically a titanium, um, a, a fly tip top. But you can see that it has a little hole right here at the top, right? Um, and so when you're putting any of your um, glue stick on there, you know, a little bit can come out if you have too much in there, or if I was using a five minute epoxy, which I would not be using that on here, uh, it could come out. Um, but what you don't have on tip tops is a hole or a place for air to escape, right? And so you can say, see that that's completely sealed, right? That's completely sealed. And same thing there. It's completely sealed. There is down here on the bottom. Uh, let me go ahead and use a toothpick. And we'll go to this lighter one so you can see it better. Right there. This whole surface of this tip top, that is all completely sealed. So when you slide this on, if you had the bottom of the rod already completely sealed, there's no place for the air to escape. And so naturally, once you slide this on, the pressure inside that's built up inside the rod will try to push this off. Okay. So again, just something that you need to think about. So I hope this video uh, gives you a better understanding of these AFCO roller tip tops. The purpose behind them, um, you know, the, the reason why there's two different size heads um, on the standard roller tip top, um, why not clearance is important. And, you know, the whole purpose behind the ring, what that, why that was created, right? So if you got anything out of the video, uh, go ahead and hit the like button and share this video uh, with somebody that you think would find it useful. Uh, and I also wanted to let you know that, um, you know, I recently uh, opened up my YouTube membership program on here on, on my channel. Uh, I have three tiers of membership. You can, you know, go to my, on the main uh, page and see that. But basically we have a member uh, we have an elite member, uh, and then we had a, have a super fan, uh, 299, $699, and $24.99. And all the perks are listed there below. Um, so if you want to, uh, you know, have early access um, to release videos, uh, if you want to, you know, go inside a member chat only, if you want to see, um, you know, uh, member only videos, uh, I, you know, I, I ask you or encourage you to go ahead and, and take a look at the, uh, the uh, membership options that I offer and, and become a member, sign up to be a member. And lastly, uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button um, and watch this next video here. Thanks for supporting Real Blue Custom Rods and supporting my channel. And until next time.